Hey, Pac Manias, Mr. Pat Kaiser. We're about to start on chapter 10. These are the conversion charts that I sent you. I wanted you guys to look at yesterday. And I just kind of wanted to go over a little bit how to use them. It's for the 10.1, 10.2, and 10.3. And of course, for your quizzes and tests. Um, all it's really saying is a couple of things. One is that since these are little, I need lots of them to get one of these. Since these are way bigger, I'm going to have fewer of them for the same distance. For instance, take a football field. It's 100 yards. Yards are bigger than feet, so it's 300 feet. All right? So if I have 300 feet, I would divide it to get the number of yards because I want something smaller because they're bigger. Um, and going the other way, if I have... Uh, a mile, that is incredibly huge. And if I want to convert it to inches, I'm going to have to multiply it because they're so tiny. I need lots and lots and lots of those to make a mile. So that's what these little arrows mean. Divide to get those and multiply to get those. If I, I divide, I get a smaller number because the measurement is longer. Um, I multiply to get these because they're shorter. So I need more of them to cover the same amount of distance. Now, you might want to have to replay that and go through it again, but I think I nailed it. Here's what you need to know. How do, you, how do I use this chart? What makes it the easiest? Well, everywhere you see a whole number on the chart for any of these charts and the ones that are about to come, you can put a multiplication sign right in front of it. So right here, multiply, multiply. And every time you see a fraction, that means divide by. So this says one over three means divide by three. One over 5,280 means you divide by 5,280. So I would just go through on these and everywhere you see a whole number, put multiply, all right? If I wanna turn a mile into inches, I take however many miles I have, hopefully it's not a lot, and I multiply it by 63,360. If I want a mile to turn it into yards, I multiply it by 1,760. And the other way around, if I wanna go from inches to yards, I take it and I divide it by 36. However many inches I have, I divide it by 36. So everywhere, on here, where you see a whole number, put a multiplication sign in front of it. Everywhere you see a fraction, that means divide by that number on the bottom. Divide by the denominator. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, and it's all kind of right here in one spot for you. So use this for the next three lessons. I'm just going to post it. Uh, I'll probably post it under conversion charts or something like that. All right. Now I'm going to get ready with the lessons.